San Diego waters provide a nursery grounds for great white newborns and juveniles, and mom and dad tend to stay away, but not always. Occasionally, we do have larger adults that pass through. Marine biologist Andrew Nosel studies shark behavior with Scripps Institution of Oceanography. He says San Diego has entered the season for sharks. This is the time of year that they typically show up, usually late spring, early summer, and we should expect them to be around through late fall, even into early winter. The five to ten foot long juveniles migrate from Baja as San Diego's waters warm up. The shallow ecosystem offers an abundance of food such as fish and stingrays. Once they start maturing at around 10 feet, um, we tend to see them hanging out in colder water and they tend to start feeding on marine mammals like seals and sea lions. Nosel says the increased sightings of the dorsal finned predators can be attributed to more people in the water equipped with GoPros. But there's also a growing shark population. An estimated 2,400 great whites are thriving along the California coast. In California, white sharks have been protected from commercial and sport fishing since 1994. So over 20 years, they've been protected. And their food source, at least as adults, marine mammals, they've been protected federally since the 1970s. So the two of these things combined have led to a very strong recovery in our white shark populations. Nosel says the top predator, along with other shark species, such as makos, leopards, and threshers, help to maintain San Diego's balanced and healthy ecosystem. We shouldn't be necessarily afraid that there's all these sharks in the water. We should be excited because it means that we're doing something right. We're protecting them. We're protecting their habitat. He advises beachgoers to stay safe by swimming with a friend and avoiding areas where you see large schools of fish. Susan Murphy, KPBS News.